In this episode, we are going to talk about electrical energy. In our previous episode, we talked about electrical power, and now we are talking about electrical energy. First, we have to know what energy is. We know that energy is the ability to do work. So we are going to look at the electrical energy that is giving it the ability to what? do work for us in our electrical circuit. So this energy is going to produce the work for us. Are we okay? So now we are going to write down our parameters and we know that let's use our E to represent our energy. As energy, we have our P, which is the power. We also have T, which is going to represent our time, and I, going to represent our current. So now we know the unit for this, that current, which is amperes, and time, seconds, power in watts and our unit for energy is energy is measured in watt second and watt second is also called our joules are we okay so now the expression for our electrical energy in any circuit can be calculated as energy e is equal to the power calculated multiplying the time so energy is power times our time and we are going to get our energy we know that p is what i square r so meaning energy can also be calculated as i square r t giving us our energy so with these two expressions we can calculate for electrical energy in any electrical circuit first we can find the power and multiply by the time in seconds and we can also use the current square the resistance and the time to calculate for the energy so here we are using our time t in what seconds to calculate for the energy because for energy which is measured in joules has what second are we okay what second but we should note this if our energy is going to be purchased and sold that is for calculation of amount that is going to cost we are going to work in kilowatts and we are going to work in hours are we okay so for example if the electrical companies are selling to us the electrical energy, then our time to calculate for those energy use is going to be in hours. And the energy is also going to be in kilowatts. Are we okay? Because they are giving it to us in kilowatts per hour. This is how the electrical companies that produce electricity and sell it to us measure. They measure the amount in kilowatts per every hour. So if we are going to do our calculation based on that, we are going to assume our time in hours and the energy in kilowatts. We can do some convection, which says one kilowatt per hour is the same as we know kilo is thousand. So thousand watts per hour which is the same as 3.6 multiplying 10 to the power 6 joules so we can use this conversion so with this analysis this is how electrical energy is being calculated so let's look at an example which involves the selling of electricity and measuring of the energy Example one. So we have our problem. An electric ion has a rating 
1.5 kilowatts at 240 volts and works for five hours a day and 24 days a month. Calculate I, the current taking, B, the resistance of the heating element, and C, the cost of electricity in one month if the cost of one kilowatt hour is 1.5 Ghana cities. So this is very simple and we have some parameters given. So the electric ion is rated at a power of P, 1.5 kilowatts. And that is also the same as 1,500 watts. Is that true? And the voltage is, our V is equal to, it is rated on a 240 volts. Let's look at the time given. It works for five hours a day. So five hours a day. So five hours per day. And it also works for 24 days per month. Okay, so now we have these parameters and the question says we should calculate for the current taken by the electric ion. So which is the A part, our I, current. And we know that current is power on the voltage is that right we have our power to be 1500 and the voltage to be 240 so with this our rated or the current being taken by the electric ion is going to be 6.25 amperes from the power expression p is equal to i v now the B part, the B part is saying we should calculate the resistance of the heating element. That's in the electric ion, we should find the resistance of the heating element. So here we can use an expression which says, we also know that P is equal to I square R. Is that right? Square R is the resistance. So our R is going to be our power on I square. So this is equal to power. The ion is rated as 1500 and the current it is being is 6.25 square. So this is the current and this resistance is going to be 38.4 ohms. 38.4 ohms so with this we can also use another expression to find the resistance we know that the v is equal to i r and the ion is so our r is it is rated as 240 and the current being drawn is 6.25 so this will also give you resistance of 38.4 ohms so with the two of the Expression any of them can help you find the resistance of the heating element. Now let's look at the cost of electricity in one month. The cost of electricity in one month. So, first, before we can calculate for the electricity cost, we should know the energy, where the energy is our power multiplying the time. Remember, our time is going to be in hours here because we are calculating for what? Costs. We are going to purchase the energy. So cost of what? Electricity. Electricity. So our E is equal to the power given is 1,500 watts. And the time, so throughout Remember, the cost of electricity, we are going to measure for a month. So throughout the month, how many hours did the iron work? 
it is working five hours per day and we are working it for 24 days so this is the total time the electric ion is working five hours per day in 24 days so it will give us the time so with this our energy electrical energy is going to be 180 watts per hour remember this time is in hours because this is hours per day and this is 24 days per month so the day is going to be out and that will be the hours per month are we good so this energy is also going to be one because we are working for electric costs we want to work in kilowatts per hour we already have the watts per hour so we convert this to kilo which is 180 kilowatt hour so this is the energy we are consuming for the electric ion in one month and the cost says for each one kilowatt per hour it is 1.5 ghana cities so meaning the cost is going to be the energy total energy consumption 180 kilowatts per hour times the ghana cities 1.50 and the total cost is going to be 270.00 ghana cities so at the end of the month the energy consumption by the ion is costing us 270 ghana cities so this is an example in the calculation of the energy when you are calculating for the cost of electricity purchase you are going to use your time in hours but if you are just calculating an ordinary energy you can work in seconds thank you for watching this episode please subscribe to the channel like our videos and share check out for the next episode